to attend next year to see Smash Con 3 because it has been incredible. Um, not, you know, everybody from the players to the host, commentators, just casuals, everybody just jamming it. Um, oh, well, there's... Ah, there ah, it is. Reveal. Zaltus. Zaltus. Okay. There we go. So Saja's teammate was Zaltus, and right. she, uh, one of the top Rosalina players, Probably second best, third best. I would say behind you can, Fallen. Probably. You could, um, you could, you know, Fallen Ryuga's up there as well. Yeah. So there's a couple, there's a couple up there, but she has uh, certainly proven to be a threat. Yeah. No doubt about that. You can ask my boy Anti in case yep. you're wondering. <laughs> Shout out to Anti, it's my boy. Yeah, she's never gonna hear the end of that. <laughs> never gonna hear the end of that. However. Uh, we do know that Zelda's kind of have had a rough time this week while in MDVA. She's yeah, lost I saw to um, who did she lose to? ZD. Twice? ZD. That ZD was it. And uh, oh no, she lost him twice. But no, she oh, lost yeah, to ZD. Yeah. And I thought she did lose to somebody else. I can't remember. Off the I top thought of it was head. Zephyr. It was, yeah, because you because because Viceroy won after that. I remember. Right. That was right. a whole like debate about Rosa yep. versus uh, Cloud. I totally remember that. Yep. So, yeah, losing to ZD and Zeph for some MDVA homegrown talent. So, um, maybe a little bit on the slip. Who knows? Because I would definitely say that Zalt is probably a more uh, prominent player, especially after, you know, she just beat Anti. So yeah, she absolutely is. Deal. I mean, you know what? Hey, I, the results at this tournament alone will show you. Consistency is hard to maintain. It really is. There's yep. so many talented players, up-and-coming players. It's just one of those things. However, uh, one good thing right here is teams is a whole nother ball game. Absolutely. You see players shine in teams that don't really make it as far in singles, and we're going to have to see if that's happening here. So we got Ryuga. And Rayquaza. And I apologize. I meant Rayquaza as far as oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as other Rosalinas go. Yeah. Misspoke. But they are teaming here, and we are taking it to Battlefield. Ryuga and Rayquaza. So we got Bayonetta and Rosalina. That's Corin and Rosalina. All these lovely ladies on the screen. Let's go. Yeah, I know Saj has got to be feeling pretty good about himself. He actually took out the cat already in singles. Uh, so a pretty big win there for him. Yep. See if can carry that momentum into teams. It's definitely going to be uh, a tough one to do, man. The ladies of Smash right now coming out. It's a little chaotic, too. I mean, Battlefield is a first stage. Uh, this stage could be a little bit smaller, especially with four people on it. Right. Um, kind of a surprise that we would go here to start, especially with the huge characters that both Rosalinas are. And there is the counter from Yu Ryuga. That's kind of like an ace in the hole. That's the, that's the card up your sleeve. So I'm surprised they popped it so early. But awesome stuff for taking off that stock. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna let it come out so quickly, you better make something out of it. He certainly did right there. Yep. Off to a very strong start. Uses the down air. There's the up smash. So I'm gonna punish him for it though. Carrying. Here you go all the way to the top, but it's not quite enough. Ooh. Nicely done here, right? has been fantastic. Really controlling a lot of space here. Zeltis back on the stage, going to try to edge guard Ooh. Rayquaza, and there it is with the down air. Good stuff from Zaltis. Yeah. And right now, blue team looking pretty strong. Wow, another counter there from Yuga. I think, and that, that's interesting, because like I feel like it it is an ace in the hole kind of deal with the counter, but in doubles, just given the chaotic nature of it, it can be more effective, you know, even just putting yourself in a better position. It's definitely stronger, I think. Right. Because there's so many things going on at once, you just have to make sure you don't accidentally, you know, hit your partner. But usually, you're trying to sandwich people anyway. Zalta's not making wow. it back. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, Zalta's off to a very rough start here. Uh, down to her last stock. Wish she could put something together. And, forth. and and the thing to consider is that Ryuga, kind of the uh, the wild card here. He's at 157. He's got a ton of rage. He is going to die to that up air. But if he was able to pop like that counter again yeah. at 171, that kills incredibly early. All right, going for that charge, not going to find anything off of that. Smart stuff. So right there, Rayquaza throwing Zaltus into Ryuga's up smash. Didn't quite work out like they had hoped, Ooh, but... Good forward smash right there from Saj. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. So dead at 100, and it looks like... That's that's a rough one to take. Yeah, th that, that, that kind of quelled any momentum that Blue Team was pulling together. I mean, this game has been super chaotic, just kind of all over the place. But it did look like Blue Team was slowly mounting a comeback, but... After that kill, I don't know. Yeah, I would say Rick Baza has done a fantastic job. He's really, I can, I can, you know, tell just, you know, watching the interaction between him and Zoltis, uh, more efficient at the ditto from what I'm seeing thus far. He has had really not too many troubles just handling her uh, whenever they have been meeting up in these one-on-one -on -one situations. Looks very comfortable in the ditto. Yeah. Yep. Excellent up smash to take out that stock. All up to Saj here, and he is shooting for his life. That, <laughs> man's, <laughs> that man's, he's gunning, but he should be running because <laughs> the chase down is real right now. 
I don't think we're going to see any uh, crazy teams combos out of these guys. Just probably, you know, the standard hit back and forth. And Maybe no throw combos. Yeah. Oh, a great Ooh. counter right there. Stifling that offense for the moment. That's a lot of counters from you, Ryuga. Dang. I mean, he's he's got the room to work with it. Yep. It's not like he can really be punished either because Rayquaza can just cover him in a lot of ways. This is just one of those situations. Saj just, he's going to need a miracle to be able to pull this off. And maybe old Bayonetta could do this, you know? Like maybe you shave off that corn stock, somehow gimp Rosalina, and Perhaps. then, you know, zero to death. But I don't think the new one could pull this off. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. All right, maybe just push for a grab right here. Saj still fighting hard, though. Got to get his man to credit. He ain't really going to let it go, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be forced off of that stock. Yeah. Yeah, he did everything he could. He, he got a little bit more data there, I think, so he learned a little bit more about, yeah. you know, their, their optimal punish options, but there was really no way he was going to bring that back. Yeah, I think Azalt just realizes, you know, not her best performance right there. Um, and, you know, it, you know, best of three. Yep. So you do have a chance to redeem yourself in that aspect, so we'll see if she can pick it up a little bit. Very capable player, no doubt about that. Yep. It's kind of unfortunate. One situation didn't make it to the ledge, and then the other um, just kind of got beat up by uh, Rayquaza yeah. in a lot of ways, so. A little bit of discussion back and forth. I feel like they're gonna opt for probably a bigger stage. Um, I don't wanna go so far as to say like FD or Duck Hunt, but I, I feel like Battlefield didn't do them any favors. That game was so chaotic and crazy. I don't think they want that again. And Duck Hunt, okay, so something way bigger yeah, man. for this one. All right, opening up that stage here. Let's see if it'll get them where they want to be. And Zoltis with that character switch to Lucina. Now, this is not a random pick. I've actually watched uh, several versus tournaments and have seen have seen Zoltis use that, uh, you know, that Lucina. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty effective yeah. result. It's one of those situations, though, where, like, I still haven't seen a great argument for Lucina over Marth. Because there isn't one. Uh, I, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Right. Like, it's just kind of a strange pick. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, that would be, it seemed a little preemptive right there, but she was able to float down. Um, barely avoid a punch there from Rayquaza. Massage kind of 2v1-ing. Yeah, I like that right there by Hugh, uh, Ryuga right there because you knock Salt off to the side. Let me go help my partner. Assume stage control and a good catch on the up air. There's the back throw. Ryuga always at the ready. Hits that up air. Blue team kind of staggered here. Definitely struggling a little bit here at the beginning. And you see Rayquaza going back to his teammate when he realized he was in a 2v1 situation. He just kind of air dodged a bunch and went to the right, tried to get back to his teammate to be uh, protected. All right. That was a good force match right there from Zoltis. You got retali re retaliating in turn. My goodness. And now blue team has them separated, but we've got two one-on-ones. Zalt is trying to capitalize by going after oh, Ryuga. Oh, close for that up, B. Looking for the hit. Wow. Ooh. Let's go. That's a little brazen. But I got, yeah, I got to say, man, it's like any time the blue team starts to build a little bit of momentum, red team has done an excellent job just shutting it down. They just quell it, yeah. And so I was just, uh, I don't want to say he has deed, but something weird happened. That's going to do it, yeah. That backer is going to be double witch time, and then he just kicks his part. Okay. A <laughs> little bit of miscoordination there. Not sure really what to think about that. Ryuga with the counter, and again, kind of like you said, I'm definitely seeing the value of that in teams yes. as opposed to singles. It's that chaotic nature, man. Take a full advantage of it. But at some point when people are just around you so much, you're just going to be swinging. Why not bring out a tool like that can not only defend but kill in the process? Yep. Size so of 68%, 87. And, I, and I'm really noticing just the teamwork from Rayquaza and Ryuga. It's, it's just a little bit better than Zolt's size. Oh, yeah. Uh, getting a lot of good pickups off these throws especially. Definitely seems like these guys came prepared, have you know practiced up, know what they're doing. For sure. Definitely seem a lot more comfortable yeah, than the can, red team. Yeah, you can tell they don't want to. They don't. Man, they don't want to make it a singles kind of game. You know what I mean? Right. Like, they are sticking true to that team efficiency, and it's working off big. It's working big time for them here. Up uh, two whole stocks right now. You can see that for a while there, Ryuga was just standing in front of Rayquaza, and you see it there. That's kind of their default position, just standing with uh, Rayquaza on Ooh. guard. Go for that up B again. Why not? Got a little leeway. Try and be flashy. I don't blame you. Yeah. I mean, when you're up this many stocks, it's especially against Lucina. Like, I don't know what she has in terms of comeback potential. I. She's not like a Lucario. Not at all. Goodbye. I mean, she's blue right now, but 
No. That don't mean too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be it. Oh, she said good. Yeah, talking all that good stuff. Mm. Oh, well, Why is that her victory? She just says good. Like, who thought that was... It's simple. I, it's simple. She's not high maintenance. I okay. like it. I like it. That's good. That's just good. I can so, deal with a low maintenance trick. That's there it nice. is. Yeah. Uh, so another uh, fantastic double set there for you guys. Um, you're really seeing the, the benefit of that team synergy. Yeah. And, you know, both sets so far that we've seen, it's just like whoever's been more on the ball, you know, more content to play that doubles game and not try and, you know, duke it out in 1v1 situation has definitely come out on top. They're more practiced. I mean, it comes down to practice. Yeah. It looks like the better team has won. Not necessarily the better players, the sure. better single players, but you're definitely seeing that players that are more comfortable in a doubles atmosphere and know exactly what that means, they're doing way better. Right.